Hello friends, this video on matter and surroundings part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Some numericals now. So we'll take some numerical. So the question says the mass per unit volume of the substance is called density. Density is nothing but denoted by delta is mass per unit volume. Arrange the following in the order of increasing order of density. We know that if you talk about density, solids has high density. High density and gas has least density. Why? Because gas, the particles space between them is pretty high. Right? So the volume is very high in gas. So volume is high, mass is constant, let's suppose. So density will become very low okay, because this uh, denominator you are increasing so this value will decrease solid has high density and gas has low density so let's talk about air this is air next is exhaust from chimney so exhaust from chimney is a in air only you are adding some dust particle you are adding some dust particle in the air that becomes exhaust from chimney it will have some particles from the kitchen, if you're talking about the uh, ch kitchen chimney, honey, this is honey, water, chalk, this is cotton, this is iron. So which of these is gas? Let's first try the gas. These two are gas, air and exhaust on chimney. Out of these, which, which one you think has more density? Obviously, exhaust on chimney. Why? Because this has more particles. This is almost fresh. So it will be pure gas, it will have least density. So air will have least density and then particle from chimney or air from chimney or exhaust from chimney. Sir. Exhaust chimney. So gas is done. Let's put this here. Then we'll take liquid. So how many liquid we have? We have two liquid, water and honey. Or even if you take cotton, cotton is also, if you see the actual cotton, the actual cotton is very light. This is the cotton t-shirt, but actually I'm talking about the cotton, real cotton. That cotton is also very light and it has very high volume, right, for small mass. The next will be cotton. And then we'll take liquids. Liquid, if you compare water and honey, honey is more thick than water. Thus, you can say that density of honey is more because in density, mass in honey, the mass is more the same volume. In water, the mass is less for the same volume, right? So, in the next will be water because the honey is more denser than water. So, honey will come here. Honey, this handle. And then I have to write the chalk and iron. Chalk and iron, I barely know that chalk is less dense than iron because iron is very strong, very difficult to break also. So, that is. Or if you want, you can actually see things from the way you can break it. See, that is one way of looking at this question. See, we know that more denser, high density implies Difficult to break. Please note this is not the cotton shirt I'm talking about. I'm talking about the white cotton which you see. This is an incorrect picture. White cotton. Okay. So now difficult to break. If you talk about that perspective, iron is most difficult to break. It has highest density. And then chalk. And then honey and then, uh, then then water then honey then water and then cotton and then uh, ex chimney exhaust and then air air is the one which is most easy to break actually if you wave the hand you are actually breaking the air and you don't feel any extra you don't feel that you have done some extra work because actually you are used to that kind of work when you wave hand and uh, uh, you break the air okay 
कमेंट ऑन द फॉलोइंग रिजिडिटी कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फ्लूडिटी फिलिंग अ गैस कंटेनर शेप कैनेटिक एनर्जी एंड डेंसिटी सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रिजिडिटी वॉट इज रिजिडिटी सो रिजिडिटी इज नथिंग बट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बींग स्टिफ एंड रेजिस्टेंट टू बेंडिंग और फ्लोइंग ओके एंड टिपिकली सॉलिड्स आर रिजिड so let let me repeat physical property of being stiff and resistant to bending or flowing the next is compressibility compressibility is other way it is the property of being able to occupy less space on applying external pressure when you apply external pressure it will occupy less space and it will change the shape of the whole article we are talking about solid is not compressible at all liquid compressible to certain extent but gas is highly compressible talk about fluidity fluidity word came from flow ability to flow so in this case gas and liquid are actually called fluids please note only liquids are not fluids gas and liquids both are called fluids filling a gas container See, filling a gas container is an easy job actually. Why? Because if you have one gas container, in this you want to fill tons of gas. It is a little easy because the gases are highly compressible. The gases are highly compressible, and you can actually fill the gas in a container. Shape. What is shape? Solids. They have different shape, and they return their shape. even if some external force is applied and sometimes for example rubber if you extend it it, it changes its shape when you need you when you remove the external force it takes back its own shape right so solid will have its own shape but liquid will not have its own shape the liquid and the gas will not have its own shape liquid will take the shape of the container in fact the gas will also take the shape of the container if you see uh, in this particular jar if you add let's suppose uh, 1 ml of gas or you add 20 ml of gas or 30 ml of gas it doesn't matter in all these gas in all these case the gas will actually occupy the whole cylinder right so solid is the only one which has definite shape the next is the kinetic energy see kinetic energy is nothing but energy possessed by the virtue of its motion for any object and this kinetic energy is directly proportional to the speed higher is the speed more is the kinetic energy you must have Studied in physics, kinetic energy is equal to half m v square. Okay, m is the mass and v is the velocity. Anyway, it is directly proportional to the speed and the particles of the motion. The particles of any matter they are in constant motion. They have kinetic energy. In kinetic energy, gas has maximum kinetic energy because the particles of the gas are in motion at a higher speed, but the particles of solids are in motion at a lower speed. Talk about density. We just talk about density. Density is nothing but mass by volume. That is density. Solids is the highest density. That is something we know. Here to give some reasons, a gas fills completely the vessel which in which it is kept. See, as I told, if you have a vessel, and in this vessel if you take keep one mL gas or even fifty mL gas, in both of these cases. the gas particles will occupy the whole container why because the gas particles are free to move they are free to move they have least force of attraction between them and these particles will actually completely fill the vessel in which they are kept okay a gas exerts pressure on the wall of the container we have told that these gas particles since they are free to move and they have very force least force of attraction between them they bump into each other they bump into each other and they also bump with this walls or they collide with each other and they also they collide with the walls of this container when they collide with the walls of the container they exert pressure on the wall of the container okay wood table would be called solid see solid something we know is something which has definite mass definite volume definite shape this wooden table has definite mass at a given temperature it has definite volume also it has definite shape all these three properties which we read about solids 
is being satisfied by this wooden table and this this wooden table is solid we can move hand uh, our hand in air but cannot do the same through a solid block of wood why see these particles of the air they have very strong weak force of attraction between them and they have more space between them also thus we can actually break through easily when you wave the hand we can actually break through these particles but when we talk about the wood let's suppose this is wood if you try to wave the hand through from hair to hair you will not be able to you will be you will not be able to do it you will be obstructed why because this wood the particles are actually closely tied the force of attraction between them is pretty strong you will not be able to actually break through it okay this is a good example for example you are standing like this okay you like four people are standing just like this and there is space small space between them or you just have touched your hand like this just touch or not even touch just standing like this and in one case four people are standing close very close and they they are held together very close or let's suppose there are more people here right now do you think it is easy to break through yes in this case it is easy to break through you can actually break through and pass but in this case if they are held together very strongly right or let's suppose there are more and more people here thousands of people held together very strongly you will not be able to break through this crowd you will not be able to go through this crowd but there are only few people and there is space between them right you can actually go through it without any problem same thing this is case of air and this is case of wood so in case of wood the space between the particles is pretty less they are they are totally attracted by each other so it's very difficult to break through it in case of air they are loosely coupled and the force of attraction between them is pretty less you can actually break through it pretty easily liquids generally have lower density as compared to solid but you must observe that ice floats in water see density is what density is mass by water so i agree that liquids generally have please note this word generally not always generally have low density as compared to solid but this is not true always for example when you compared cotton and water also in case cotton had less density but it is solid water had more density even if it is liquid same thing here if we talk about ice ice has more density because density is mass by volume so when you freeze ice the volume increase from water to ice you must can try this actually you fill one glass of water to the top and put it in your refrigerator once it becomes ice you will see that the volume of the uh, ice or the volume of the water has increased and it become ice so water actually expands when it becomes ice because it reorients in a crystal structure and with that the volume increase you study about these things in the later classes since in case of ice the volume is more for the same mass so the density is less so since the density of the ice is less density of ice is less than density of water why because when you make what ice from water you will see the volume increase so in the volume increase the density decrease so the density of ice is less since the density of ice is less it floats on water because it float for float for anything to float in the water the density should be lesser than water the buoyancy force okay there is something in physics you will learn about these things the way it is done right you increase the area and it creates pressure same thing here so the density is less and floats in the water thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attend free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again